Yo, Miguel. Hey, Chad. You got the mess I left you at the book cafe? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Well, I know you're not crazy about busting tables over there. <laughs> well, I ain't too down with it now. Well, that's why I thought you might be interested in another gig. Depends. Well, the position just opened up. It's here at school, helping out the head of the athletic department. Do yourself a favor and check it out. Yo, thanks for thinking of me when you found out about the gig, but I'm sort of looking to get back into the music business, you know? But you said yourself it could take a while before you get the break you need. You know, why not make some money here so you can have a cushion when you go back to New York? Uh, you got a point, but, yo, the way I remember school, <laughs> you got a lot of authority figures running around here giving orders. Yo, that's not me. You'll only have to take orders from one boss, and he's cool. Look, trust me, Coach Russell's a great guy. Are you telling me the job's with Whitney and Simone's father? Yeah. Go on in, Chad. What do you got to lose? Hey, Miguel. How you doing, Chad? Not bad. So Miguel's showing you around the school? Actually, Chad's here because he was interested in that job opening you posted. Oh, is that so? Well, this job is in the athletic department, and I thought music was your bag. It is. Uh, what I was thinking, Coach, is that your department also puts together the prom and the other school activities where there's music. Well, Chad here could be a real asset. Not to knock anybody, but the music at the last couple of events has been kind of prehistoric. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it. So I need someone younger on the music. That's all I'm saying. All right, well, I'll take your suggestion, Miguel. But do you think Chad could speak for himself? Unless you're moonlighting as his agent. I get your drift, coach. Go for it, bro. Have a seat, young man. Look, Miguel's just trying to do me a solid, but I don't think this is going to work out. Well, don't you think you're jumping the gun a little bit? I didn't even offer you the job. Well, why wouldn't you? Oh, I get it. You wouldn't be able to face down your wife and your daughter Whitney. Tell them you hide a guy they think is dirt. That's not it at all. See, you have to make a decision. To make a commitment to stick around in town. Be dependable. Show up on time. It's no problem. And most of all, you have to take orders. From me. Now, Chad, I understand that you had some troubles with your old boss at that record company back in L.A. Look, he was a snake. But from what I can see so far, you're not. Well, let's just say for the sake of argument, I offer you the job and you accept it. Now, can you make me a promise that you'll keep your temper in check? Because, Chad, as you know, this is a school. And this school has rules. Now, you don't seem like the person who gives a damn about rules. Are you willing to learn, Chad? Now, you understand, I ain't saying I want the job. But since you've been straight with me, the least I could do is be straight with you. Well, I appreciate that, Chad. You got it right. I mean, I ain't never had an easy time with rules. Probably never will. But what I can't stand is when I don't get credit for what I do. Well, if you do a good job for me, you get all the credit you deserve. Now, I understand that you came to Harmony looking for some connection between yourself, your family, and this town. But in the meantime, you're alone. You have no people, no real plans, and no place to go. I could go to New York any time I want. Just like I said, Chad, you have no real plans. Now, why don't you take the job and stay a while? Now, I'm not saying give up your dreams. I'm just saying put them on hold for a while. Looks like you've had your dreams on hold for a long time. <laughs> Unless your dream was to become a high school athletic coach. No, no offense, man. I, I, mean, I didn't mean it to come out the way it did. You know, I think it came out exactly how you meant it. You're probably looking at me and saying, what does this guy know about dreams? 
Well, let me tell you, Chad, when I was wearing this jacket that you have on right now, I was full of dreams. And you're right. They weren't being a high school coach. They were big dreams. What were they? That's not the point. The point is that your dreams change. Sometimes you have to make adjustments. I got a good life. I love my job. I live in a nice town. And I'm married to the best woman in the whole wide world. And I have two beautiful daughters. I have nothing to complain about. That's cool. But I want more out of life than just nothing to complain about. I'm going to make my dreams come true. Go for it, Chad. But in the meantime, if you want the job, it's yours. <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, I mean, there's lots of other guys you could hire. What well, I mean? You're right. You remind me of somebody I used to know. What are you doing here? I just accepted a job at the school. Oh, well, you must have lied on your application or else nobody would have hired you. You know, I think I'll just have to go talk to the principal. Go ahead. Tell him to check with my new boss, Coach Russell. What? That's right. I'm going to be working for your father. 